Good morning from wherever you are watching in the world. Thanks for joining us on the Thursday's edition of News Hub. Can you give us the legal angle to this thing? What does the Constitution say? It's always a pleasure talking about technology. Don't forget you can join the conversation on social media at Silverbed N24 or hit me up directly at me, Mercy Frank. The world revolves around technology. Well, this is how I see Thank you for joining us on today's edition of Tech Up. My name is Mr. Frank. Let's have to point out where we have Tony. Um, the, the theme of this year's um, World Humanitarian Day is, a quite, is quite an interesting one. When we hear of humanitarian, the only thing that comes to our mind is people who rush down to um, scenes of violence or to help people who are displaced from their communities. But this year's thing centered on, on climate change and the impact it's having in communities and the target the human race. Can you break it down for us so we can understand and talk to us about it? Looking at you, I could call you a millennial. You're pretty young. Why, why, why humanitarian of all things to do? Why did you go into humanitarianism? All right, you're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is News Up, and we'll be diving straight deep into um, the first segment, which is taking a look at the headlines on the front pages of our national dailies. And as usual, Chris Kende Nwando is with us here in the studio. Chris Kende Nwando is the publisher, CKN Magazine, CKN Newspaper. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. It's nice to be here. You're looking all black and black today. Yeah. Dr. Bala is the ascent of the PIB by President Buhari, a game changer. Good evening and thanks for joining us on the news at 10. Now, the announcement of the president's signing of the PIB into law has many Nigerians sighing a huge relief. Can you talk to us about the reaction of those in the host communities? They were hit with the news of increase of the pump price of petrol, which resulted in prices of most food items to more than triple. Now, I took a trip around the Mile 12 International Market. This trade fair should have had the international business owners featured here live on ground, but because of the COVID-19 restrictions and the border closure, the fair is a shadow of itself. It's just a few days before Christmas, and word of mouth on the market tells us that the traffic this time around is scanty compared to previous years. This is Mount 12, the headquarters of food items in Lagos State. Now, majority of the trucks transporting food items from the north offloads at this very point. Nigeria's leading FMCG brand, Dangote Group, has reiterated its commitment to safeguard the well-being of present and future generations. Stakeholders are hopeful that this goes beyond the conversation level. They hope that startups will put in place values to attract investors. This is the area where the unfortunate event happened just on Sunday evening. Now, specifically, number 